Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video series on magnetic circuits, we'll be solving example number 1.2 of the second textbook. Now the question here is that the magnetic structure of a synchronous machine is shown here. So this is the synchronous machine. Assume that the rotor and stator irons have infinite power mobility, so mu is infinity. And we have to get, find the air gap flux phi and the air gap flux density beta g and the dimensions given are I is 10 ampere the current through the coil. Number of turns of the coil here is 100 turns and the gaps, the, this gap here and same here, this is 1 centimeter and the area of cross section of the air gap, so this area here from here to here is 2000 centimeter square. Now, hint is that since the permeability is infinity, therefore the core reluctance may be neglected. Now, we can draw the equivalent uh, electrical circuits for this magnetic circuit. Two air gaps, so two air gaps, and neglecting the core reactance because of uh, infinity permeability and these two can be added so the net or the total reluctance is 2rg so the, for the air gap flux we know the formula flux is f over r total where f is n into i number of turns and current divided by r total in this case is 2rg and rg from this formula we know is g over mu naught over ag, so we'll plug in that. So this is the formula for pi, uh, for the flux density phi. And again, this is the only point that we have to keep in mind, that the dimensions are given in centimeters, which you have to convert into meters. This is the only catch. So, number of turns is 1000 current 10 ampere 4 pi 10 raised to the power minus 7 is the permeability of the air and area is 2000 centimeter is equal to 0 0.2 meter square so 0 0.2 and g 1 centimeter means 0 0.01 meter and multiplied by 2 it will become 0 0.02 and so we find out phi to be 0 0.13 Weber. So this is the first part. And the, in the second part, we have to find the flux density for the air gap, Bg. So we'll use this formula. The flux density is given by the flux divided by the area. The flux we have calculated 1.3 Weber, area is 0.2, so the flux density is 0.65 Tesla. Now let's do the practice problem. Same dimensions as the circuit. Now here the flux density is given and we have to find the flux in the first part and in the second part the number of turns is changed so we have to calculate the current required to produce the same level of air flux that is this one so let's see first part we'll use this formula air density is phi over the area and from here we can find the flux is BGAG BG 
is given here 0 0.9 tesla so we plug in that ag again 2000 centimeters means 0 0.2 meter square so we put in that so the flux is 0 0.18 weber now the second part the coil has been reduced to 500 turns so we'll use this formula to find the current from here we just plug in this value phi this and 500 i we have to find this is 4 pi 10 as to the power minus 10 area is 0 0.2 uh, meter square and 2g is 0 0.02 or 2 times 0 0.01 that is the air gap and from here we can calculate I by manipulating so this multiplies and these terms and 50 divide and by calculation we find it to be 28.64 ampere so I hope uh, uh, this gives you an idea as to how to solve this type of a problem. Thank you.